Hi, so let's look at MIMO's annotations and see also links. Now, the golden rule with Pat Baisley is uh, annotations are something that needs to be sorted out. It's a little bit unclear for you when you're reading for your documents or any other your, your sources. MIMO's are more reflective and they certainly need to um, be commented on, reflected about and improved upon from the innovation annotation so it gives you a little bit more information and see also links are something that you're drawing connections to so and it, with your literature it's good to draw it with your authors so let's have a little look by sharing my screen with you to see what we're looking at okay so here we are over in a big major project of school age and you can see that today i'm going to have a look at um, some of my journal articles that I've just bought in and I'm going to open up and I can also see that I've already been working on this article because I've got a couple of nodes that I've coded to and a couple of references. I've also got a see also um, indicator of there's a memo link to this one. That's what it says here. So I'm just going to open up and continue reading about the concept of marginalization and when I as soon as I open it up I can see oh I've been reading through this and I've actually created a couple of um, links already let's have a look in the C also the annotations and the C also links is about marginalization and the author and I've already created some annotations so what I need to do is just shine back over and keep on um, having a look about building on the annotations, memos, and see also link. So the next one, next line is talking about marginalized people. Well, I think there's a little bit unclear for me. So I'm gonna highlight over it. I'm gonna start with annotations. And as Pat Baisley always says, the annotations are something that's unclear. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to link, and I'm going to create an annotation. Once I do that, it's going to ask me, it's a new annotation and, I'm, and it comes up down the bottom. So it's about the third one that I've had on this literature. So here I'm going to say um, about the annotation uh, marginalised. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure it's American and I've got a question about it. So I'm going to put it in as that. So I've already created that. I'm going and it highlights straight away for me. I'm looking at my coding density over here and it's actually saying there's a bit about bullying in this article I've already coded to and I'm shining over it. So yeah, marginalized question. The next part is I'm building on that annotation. I'm thinking, well, I need to really um, be more reflective. So marginalized people are not considered to be part of an in normal society rather abnormal and made to feel that way. So perhaps that's something that I'm going to create a memo about because I need to sort of develop on that a little bit further. So as you can see already, it's annotations is already starting to highlight at the base of my screen that I've already questioned about marginalized on it. So I'm going to right click, go down to links and I've already take memo link and it's asking me, open the linked memo already or delete the memo. So I'm going to open what I've already got. And it says, uh, further investigation of the definition. Um, and I'm going to add here, marginalization, marginalized people, uh, you know, not treated the same from what I'm, I'm, I'm interpreting. So I, I'm adding to what I've already read, okay? Um, and the good thing about this, as you can see, you can go back and edit. Okay, um, now I'm going to close that because I want to continue reading. So I know that I've got um, now that I've already started my memos, but authors throughout history have made certain comments. Um, I can go down here, look at the marginalised in society. I think this would be something that I need to link to as an author, such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest or Looking for Alabama, which um, I probably need to sort of go and investigate a little bit further. And so that's a see also link. And that is actually, as Pat Baisley says, drawing the connections of what I want to look at in marginalization. So again, I highlight on it, I right click, I go down to links, and this time I'm creating an annotation and I want it to be a new annotation. And it comes up. So I'm going to call this Ken Casey. 
um, uh, connections on marginalization and it's very important that I have a look at that and go back as I can say you can go back and correct yourself and I really do need to um, go and get some ideas on that now as you can see, all of this extra uh, memoing, et cetera, you're doing at the bottom, you can click into. You can see the see also links that you're doing. I've already made one on marginalisation today. I made another as I'm reading. So it's, it's, it's all starting a really nice listing for me. The annotation that I did is sitting right there. Ken Casey's connections to the marginalisation. And as I continue reading, I don't have to have it blocking my view. I can pull it down. So when I open this article next time, I'll see that I've already started some memos, annotations, and see also links. But if I close out, I have to go, can't read any longer. I'm actually noting on the main screen when I come back into it that there are memos. So all I need to do is shine on it and remind myself, open the link, you can delete anything you put in, by the way, and you can click up what I'm talking about, what I'm starting. Oh, and I've just realised I need to edit a little bit here so I can further go into it. So the good thing about it is as you read, it's recording, it's also going further. So let's start with annotations, which are something unclear, memos being reflective, build on that and sort of comment about the unclear idea and see also links are making connections and drawing connections and I do that with authors so that I'm really starting to blend and bring in other authors that we could write in. So thank you for that. I'm going to come out of mine and thank you for your listening. Thank you.